The Renault Vesta II was a remarkable French concept car created in 1987 as part of a government-backed initiative to push the limits of fuel economy. In the early 1980s, following two major energy crises, France's Ministry of Industry launched a competition among national manufacturers to design vehicles consuming less than 3 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers, 94.2 miles per gallon. Renault took up the challenge under the direction of Gaston Juchet, head of the company's design department and an expert in aerodynamics. The project began with the EV and EV Plus prototypes based on the Renault 18, which demonstrated the potential of improved aerodynamics and lighter construction. By 1984, Renault produced two first-generation Vesta prototypes, but their performance was not sufficient. Development continued, and the final product, the Vesta II, appeared in 1987. Its name stood for Economic Vehicle of Advanced Systems and Technologies, and it also evoked Vesta, the Roman goddess of the hearth. The Vesta II achieved extraordinary efficiency through a combination of advanced design choices. The teardrop-shaped body, flat undertray, steeply raked windshield, and electronically controlled grille shutters gave it a drag coefficient of just 0.186, better than most modern hybrids. A hydropneumatic suspension lowered the ride height at speed, further reducing drag. Lightweight plastic panels kept curb weight to only 473 kilograms. Renault even developed six experimental powertrains, with the most effective being the PV9, a 716 cubic centimeters three-cylinder engine producing 27 horsepower paired with a five-speed manual gearbox. The car could reach 138 kilometers per hour while consuming just 4.25 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 2.81 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. In testing, the Vesta II surpassed expectations. During a Bordeaux-Paris run in June 1987, it covered 501 kilometers with only 9.75 liters of fuel, averaging 1.94 liters per 100 kilometers, 145.6 miles per gallon, a world record at the time. Test drivers praised its smooth ride and excellent visibility, though the cabin borrowed heavily from the aging Renault 5. Despite its success, Renault never put the Vesta II into production. The lessons of lightweight design, aerodynamics, and fuel-saving technologies such as stop-start systems were ahead of their time, but did not translate into the company's mainstream models. The name Vesta resurfaced decades later, in 2014, when Avtovaz, then part of the Renault-Nissan alliance, launched the Lada Vesta, though without a direct link to the French prototype. The Renault Vesta II remains one of the most striking examples of 1980s experimental engineering. A car that proved ultra-low fuel consumption was achievable long before modern hybrids and electrics.